Hello and in this video I'm going to show you how to make this little bird's nest which you can hang from the trees or put into the hedge. You can watch the little birds come in and build their nests in there. What we need to make this are six longer rods and a couple of dozen small weaving rods. So the first thing we're going to do is take our six longer rods and we're going to keep them all together and create this teardrop shape. Something like that. Then we're going to hold it at the bottom We're going to take three of them and cross them over the other three. And now we're going to start. This is this is the base. So the way we start is this is the trickiest part of the whole construction. So we need to take our time. We're going to take the short, the end which it goes to a tip, and we're going to bring it back on itself like that. Then we're going to go over and under like so. Back to where it started. Now what this gives us is this is not going to become a weaving rod and we have three six nine and two is eleven will become like spokes of a wheel so we're going to open up the first one we're going to put our weaving rod behind it then we're going to open up here and we're going to start weaving behind and in front of these spokes like so opening up our three and getting the rods in between same it goes behind one in front of the next So we just keep turning and weaving behind and in front. Behind until we get back to where we started. And this time the rod goes in front and then behind. and then in front. So it's actually doing the opposite of what it did the first time. So if we can keep this weave close and tight and we just keep turning and weaving behind and in front Eventually it starts to look like the spokes of a wheel. Now eventually the rod that we're weaving with is going to end. And when you come to a short bit, I'm just going to tuck it inside for now. Then we take one of our weaving rods and we continue. So here's our last rod, it goes under here. So I'm just going to put this with the thick end 
under the same spoke and then we continue with our weaving behind and in front behind and in front so when we get to this stage our base of the nest is still flat so what we're going to do is start to make it bend away from us so there we are back to where we started and because there's an odd number of spokes every time we come back to where we started it's the opposite of where we were before so in this case we were behind now we're in front so we just keep going with our weaving rods behind and in front and we're trying as well as everything else we're trying to keep an eye on the shape of it and we're trying to push it away from us so it's starting to form like a saucer so behind and in front and in front and then we'll tuck we'll tuck the skinny end in behind the previous row and now what we're going to do is we're going to gather all of these together to form our teardrop shape. Like this. And we simply just take the longest of these spindly parts and we wrap it around. We tuck it in somewhere. And this should hold it together. So So we don't want it to be too skinny. We want to try to keep a more of a fat shape. So the way we do that is we just open up, flatten the base slightly, and then we take another rod. So here's where we left off. We went behind there. So I'm just going to tuck that thick end in and continue weaving. Right, I say we're trying to keep an eye on the shape as well as everything else. So it's a little bit tricky until we get the right shape and then it's much easier. It just takes a little bit of manipulation to get the shape right. So, come to the end of this little road, and again we can just tuck it in somewhere. And take another road, and start where we left off. So here's the upright. So if we go in here, so now our little nest is forming at the bottom. So we just keep weaving with a single rod around and around, behind and in front. Now 
Now ideally, a bird will sit in its nest and also be able to look out. So we keep weaving until we think it's big enough for a bird to sit in. I'm just going to do one more round. Let's see. And then maybe we'll think about the little opening. So this will take us up. And I think maybe just one more. One more will get us to the right height. So where did we leave off? It was here, so just jam that in there. started and over the top and again we tuck that in Now, we want to decide <coughs> where the hole is going to be. Now, birds don't like really big holes and they actually squeeze through the hole. So that's a really tight fit. So something like this, this size here, which is it's about an inch or 25 millimeters square would do. It looks tiny but things like blue tits just love to squeeze in and out. So we'll take a new rod and we'll start it off. And we'll come to where we think a good gap would be. Say for instance here and then we change direction with the weaving and we go back the other way. So this gets us weaving with our left hands as well as our right. We come back around to where our gap is, which is here, and then we change direction and we go back the other way. And so we continue this weaving going as far as our opening and turning back and then a new rod where the old one finishes we get to the opening and we turn around And so we continue up the nest like this. Turn it around here. New rod where the old one finished. Turn 
one here. Back the other way. So we can see it's taking shape. Where did we finish? We finished here, so there's a new road there. With the opening and turn. So it's getting close to the right height of hole. So I'm just going to go one more layer on top and then I think I'll close the hole. So we we'll look right across, right around, back to our gap and turn. Okay, so that's, that's big enough I think. So with the next road, we started off where the old one left off. And instead of turning, we just go straight across. And we keep weaving. Around and around to the finish. Okay. And there we go. So now it's just a matter of weaving until the rods finish, replacing with a new one. And just keep weaving. And the gaps between the rods now are getting thinner. So it's a little bit harder to get the rods in and out. Step by step, and we'll get there. New road with the old one left off. It's definitely getting harder to, to weave. 